everyone, we're going to determine whether the geometric series is convergent or divergent. If it's convergent, we're going to find the sum. So I'm going to rewrite this summation as uh, the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. I'm just going to rewrite it as 1 divided by square root of 2 to the power of n. Uh, that's something more we're used to. Our a would be uh, 1 looking at this. And our r is 1 divided by square root of 2. If you take the absolute value of r, that's going to give you 1 divided by square root of 2, which is less than 1. That means it does converge, and it converges to a divided by 1 minus r. So all we have to do is find uh, it is convergent. And now we have to find the sum. So we take our a, which is 1, divided by 1 minus 1 divided by square root of 2. So getting your common denominator for uh, the denominator, that's going to be square root of 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 2. I can move this uh, square root of 2 up in the numerator. So it's going to be square root of 2 minus 1. Uh, let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator uh, so we don't have a radical in our denominator. Um, we do this by uh, multiplying by square root of 2 plus 1. So we also have to multiply the numerator by square root of 2 plus 1. So the numerator is going to be square root of 2 times square root of 2 plus 1. And the denominator is going to be, um, you use this a squared minus, it's going to be a squared minus b squared. That's your a and b. So um, a this is your b. All right, uh, square root of square root of 2 equals 2, then minus 1. So this is just going to be 1. Um, now let's go ahead and clean that up. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2, plus square root of 2 times 1 is square root of 2. So this is what it converges to. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.